This video was created to illustrate the speaker notes and the animations that you'll find in the PowerPoint presentation. As I go through these next slides, I will be reading from the handouts. Point out that this chapter deals with locating features of size. Use the GDNT hierarchy pyramid to introduce the chapter by saying, once datum features have been identified and controlled, you have to locate the other features. We now know that any surface may be located using profile of a surface. We also know there's a special group of features known as features of size. The size and form of these features is controlled by the limits of size in accordance with rule number one. If the feature of size is a cylinder and is coaxial to a datum axis, we will see in the next chapter that there are several ways to control the location. This chapter shows how to locate these features of size using the position tolerance. Just to be certain that no one thinks you are fostering violence in the workplace, mention that shooting is an Olympic sport that is socially acceptable. Then challenge someone to a shooting contest. Explain that the goal is to hit where the two lines intersect. The first shot you will explain is your shot and the second shot is their shot. Then ask them who won the contest. Using a string or pointer illustrate that your shot is further away. When the posted sign appears explain that if they're using plus minus tolerances your shot would be good where theirs would be bad. For instance if they were using plus or minus five thousandths on a drawing this shot is further away than five thousandths. And even though your shot could be as much as seven thousandths away, it would fall inside the plus minus five thousandths tolerance zone. Then explain that the position tolerance gives you a cylindrical zone. And there is a 57% increase in tolerance. And if they use the MMC or LMC modifier, you get even more tolerance. Ask which features on this part are features of size. Explain why datum feature B does not need a position tolerance, since it is establishing an origin. Remind them that the radius may or may not have opposed points, and therefore is not a very good feature of size. As the arrow moves around the slide, ask them to answer the question. Is the arrow pointing to a size dimension? When you first click on the mouse, Bean will appear shrugging his shoulders. Of course, the first one is pointing to a basic 45 degree angle, which would not be a size dimension. The 5 plus or minus 0 0.1 is the size of the hole, so this would be a feature of size and require position. The 100 picks up its general tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.2 from the general note. And this is a feature of size, once again requiring position. The same is true for the 50 diameter. The 40 is a basic diameter just locating the 5 millimeter hole and it is not a feature of size nor is the 76 diameter. The 12 diameter is the size of the two holes and a position tolerance would be required. The 40 is a basic dimension locating the surface which is at the bottom of the key seat and that surface would have to be located using profile. So the 40 is not a size dimension. The 14.1 to 14 is the width of a feature of size, the width of the key seat, and it would require a position tolerance to keep the center plane of the key seat in line with the datum axis. The 30 is datum feature B, and this establishes the origin of measurement. So even though B is a feature of size, it does not require position, and its relationship to the primary datum feature would be perpendicularity. You might point out 
that had position been used on datum feature B, the result would be the same. Explain that the 60 millimeter diameter feature would be able to trap a gauge pin or equivalent and to establish a reproducible center. Therefore, position may be used to locate this feature. Discuss the two position tolerances. Point out that when maximum material condition or least material condition is applied, there are two ways to look at the tolerance. One way, the traditional way, is to think about the tolerance zone controlling the axis or center plane of the feature. Discuss the calculation of virtual condition for each of the features. Use the dynamic tolerancing diagrams that were introduced in previous chapters to help with this. Point out that the virtual condition is a boundary that may not be violated. Because of this, it is often possible to evaluate position when the tolerance is modified at MMC by using a hard gauge which assures that the virtual condition is not violated. Explain that these position tolerances may be thought of as single limit controls, meaning that there is a single boundary that the surface of the feature may not violate. This boundary is called the virtual condition. This concludes the video which demonstrates the speaker notes and animations found in the PowerPoint.